and these free electrons they belong to the conductor as a whole that means that they are free to move throughout the conductor anywhere they want that's what you basically mean by talking about conductors aur agar aap insulators ke bare mein baat karoge yani yahan pe jo electrons hai they are tightly bound to the nucleus and they are not free to move so uh, we will be seeing what are the reasons for this uh, in today's discussion that why in insulators the electrons are uh, you know tightly bound and they are not free and we will be talking from the energy level perspective uh, we just uh, completed one section in uh, uh, modern physics where we spoke about the energy levels in which an electron can be found out correct so there also we had seen that every electron can be found in certain discrete energy levels okay and uh, we will be drawing the energy level band diagrams for the insulator conductor and semiconductor okay so current has gone here wait i'll just stop my video so on the basis of that we will be explaining that why insulators are tightly bound and conductors they are free but let me try to take an understanding what is your uh, you know analysis like you might have studied in chemistry a little bit so why do you think that insulators may electrons are tightly bound to the nucleus uh, is there any reason which you know of which can uh, throw some light and shed some light on this topic uh, -huh. uh i don't know sharver is hearing me that she can uh, contribute something here that why insulators may the electrons are tightly bound and they are not free to move and they are not behaving like free electrons so voice is breaking wait okay i opened up the the doors so i hope my voice is not breaking now is it clear टूट रहा है क्या आवाज अभी टूट रहा है <laughs> अरे बाप रे वेट लेट मी चेक ओके थोड़ा सा रेंज कम हो गया एक सेकेंड आई जस्ट चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ माई मोबाइल ओके अभी बेटर है श्रेया शर्वरे can you hear me clearly now okay fine theek hai chalo to main ye pooch raha tha sharvari ko ki insulators mein jo electrons hai ye hum kyu kehte hai ki ye tightly bound hai aapke mann mein kya reason hai what do you know about this we will be of course studying this in this chapter but i i just wanted to know what is your understanding till this point of time on the basis of chemist chemistry If you don't know, then you should say. You should say, "I don't know." That's it. <laughs> so time is saved. Okay, you have no idea. Very good. So at least I know that you don't know because uh, uh, that will help me to analyze it more better. So I know that you are with a uh, you know blank mind here. Okay. So Mohit is saying maybe due to large nuclear force. No, no, it's not because of that. We will see that uh, in today's discussion. Uh, if time permits, we if we reach that place. then we will see that why insulators may electrons are tightly bound and why in conductors a large number of free electrons are there okay so that is we are just putting some certain points here which we'll talk about it later to agar aapne koi electric field establish kar diya uh, conductor mein okay so if you try to establish some one minute let me just put the curtains so some comment in the chat box sir till what time you will be continuing hey don't ask me the time i just started the lecture <laughs> uh this is an important part i don't know how much you have studied in the last semester but many questions come in semiconductor physics uh, even in uh, mains okay chalo uh, electric field agar aapne conductor mein establish kiya hai to ye jo free electrons hai jo aapke uh, कंडक्टर uh, में है वो सभी फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस करेंगे एंड वी नो दैट दे विल ऑल मूव यू नो इन द डायरेक्शन ऑपोजिट टू द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड एस्टैब्लिश सम करंट 
So current can be established in a conductor because of this large number of free electrons. And we know that uh, the current density we have studied in uh, our chapter of current and electricity is proportional to the electric field where sigma is called as the conductivity of the material. So sigma agar jada hai, that is conductivity is more, then we generally say that the material is a very, very good conductor. But one very important point which I have written here is that, uh, you know, this chapter mein bohat sare theoretical questions rehte hain. Or theory mein aapko char options mein se bohat aapka theory agar clear nahi hai, you will not be able to select the options. So each and every point is very important what we say here. So jo conductivity hai, it is not dependent on the electric field. Just because you have a relation like this, J equal to sigma E, many times students think that sigma is J by E. So sigma depends on electric field. That's what they just try to analyze that mathematically. But sigma is not, uh, conductivity is uh, not dependent on the electric field. And in fact, conductivity depends upon temperature. Just like if you have temperature ko increase kar diya, so what's going to happen to the conductivity in conductors? Will it increase or will it decrease? Okay, so uh, just see the question here. Yaha pe likha hai ki agar temperature mein ne bada diya conductor mein. Okay, so will the conductivity increase or will the conductivity decrease? Haan, koon sa option correct hai? In dono mein se. Conductivity increase hoga ki decrease hoga. Okay, so Sharvari bol rahi hai ki conductivity decrease ho raha hai. Okay, conductivity decrease kyun hota hai? Because agar aapne temperature bada diya, to aapke jo electrons hai, inka, uh, you know, random motion bad jayega. And there will be collisions with the nuclei. You know, stationary nuclei jo rehte hai, unke saath collisions badega. So there is going to be a hindrance to the motion of the free electrons. And that is why the conductivity will decrease. So we have to get that thing straight right in our head. That in a conductor, when temperature increases, then the conductivity decreases or resistivity increases. Okay, resistivity will increase as temperature increases. All right. So this first part is uh, clear to everyone. Omka. That in conductors, that when you increase the temperature, your conductivity is going to decrease, your resistivity increases, and also conductivity is independent of the electric field. That's another important point to be noted here. Fine, going ahead, if you talk about insulators, we will be seeing in future that why uh, insulators don't have any free electrons at all. Or if you have the electric field apply kiya, only then it could be possible that some current could flow you know by the process of dielectric breakdown uh, we'll speak about dielectric breakdown also in future so otherwise uh, there is going to be zero current which is going to be obtained in insulators okay and now we compare this whole thing with semiconductors semiconductors ka kya property rehta hai ki agar aapne electric field apply kiya hai then they do conduct but the difference is that the number of free electrons are not too much in a semiconductor we will see what a semiconductor is in today's discussion but one characteristic of semiconductors like silicon and germanium these are most prominent semiconductors or compounds of these semiconductors like gallium, uh, uh, yeah, you know, germanium ke saath aap koi uh, compound ko jod do, ya silicon ke saath aap dousre element ko jod do, aur fir aapka uh, naya kuch compounds form hota hai. Okay, there is also, for example, gallium arsenide. Ye bhi ek uh, important semiconductor hai. Okay, but primarily main semiconductors jo hum sikhte hai, wo hai silicon aur germanium. So in semiconductors mein, agar aapne electric field apply kiya, so conduct karenge, but inka conductivity uh, metals jaisa nahi hoga. Or ye reason ye hai ki as hum log dekhne wale hai ki semiconductors mein number of free electrons are very very less. Okay, in general they are very very less. Magar inka jo conductivity hai aap bada sakte hai by a special process which is going to be called as doping. Doping. 
तो वॉट इज दिस डोपिंग दैट ऑल्सो वी विल सी सो अगर आप डोपिंग करेंगे तो फिर आपका कंडक्टिविटी बढ़ सकता है नहीं तो इसका कंडक्टिविटी बहुत कम रहता है ऑल राइट right. और ये इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस है जो हम बाद में भी रिपीट करेंगे यहां पे तो सिर्फ हम डेटा दे रहे हैं यहां पे कि मेटल्स में क्या होता था कि अगर टेम्परेचर बढ़ गया तो कंडक्टिविटी कम होता था बिकॉज ऑफ द कोल्यूशन बट यहां पे हम देखेंगे कि अगर टेम्परेचर बढ़ता है तो कंडक्टिविटी बढ़ेगा ओके okay, और ये रीजन हम देखेंगे एज वी गो हेड सेमी में अगर टेम्परेचर बढ़ता है तो कंडक्टिविटी बढ़ता है आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू आस्क मे बी ओमकार और शर्वरी हुआ ऑलरेडी स्टडीड सेमी कंडक्टर्स कैन यू एट्रीब्यूट द रीजन फॉर दैट दैट वेन टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस वाई डज द कंडक्टिविटी इंक्रीज इन सेमी कंडक्टर्स हाउ डू एक्सप्लेन दैट इन शॉर्ट जस्ट वन लाइन छोटा सा or even one word would do if you know the exact reason then unable to recall okay you not able to recall it at all fine theek hai so that also we'll discuss today that when temperature increases why does the conductivity increase in semiconductors but these are important characteristics and they form very good objective questions uh, we will be first teaching the theory and then i will give you some uh, taste of the different questions what do you have from mains as well as from the need uh, uh, you know so that you get an idea that what type of questions are asked and how you should be prepared from the theoretical as well as from the problem perspective for this chapter okay going ahead here uh, we have further just written about the classification of the metals conductors and semiconductors in terms of the resistivity and conductivity तो मेटल्स का मतलब जैसे मैंने कहा था हाई कंडक्टिविटी सो हाई मींस हाउ मच टेन रेस टू 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 टेन रेस टू एट सीमेंस पर मीटर दैट इज यूनिट ऑफ कंडक्टिविटी सीमेंस ये इसका यूनिट है और ये रेजिस्टिविटी है टेन रेस टू माइनस टू टू टेन रेस टू माइनस एट ये जो डेटा है ना ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट है आप सोचेंगे कि ये क्या है ये इंपॉर्टेंट है क्या अरे ऑब्जेक्टिव में यही पूछते हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव में दे विल गिव अ वैल्यू एंड देन से ये किसका कंडक्टिविटी है मेटल का है सेमीकंडक्टर का है कि इंसुलेटर का है तो इतने छोटे छोटे डिटेल्स भी पता रहना चाहिए कि कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ मेटल्स कितना होता है टेन रेस टू 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 टेन रेस टू एट सीमेंस पर मीटर होता है सेमी में देखो इससे कम है बट इंसुलेटर से ज्यादा है ठीक है टेन रेस टू फाइव टू टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स सीमेंस पर मीटर और इंसुलेटर्स का देखो नेगेटिव में है जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 इतना कम कंडक्टिविटी है सो ये ऐसा एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है बट व्हेन यू गेट इट इन मल्टीपल ऑप्शन क्वेश्चंस यू शुड बी एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज कि किसका कंडक्टिविटी कौन सा है यू हैव टू मेक एन इंटेलिजेंट गेस फ्रॉम द वैल्यूज एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है ऑल राइट कैन वी गो हेड फ्रॉम हियर मेहर If yes. my voice breaks, please tell me. Okay. Meher, can we proceed further? Are things clear till here? Yes, sir. Okay. Actually, today I have not connected my audio system. You are telling yes. I heard little bit. देखो अगर आप electronic configuration देखोगे group four a elements का group four a हमारे लिए बहुत special है. क्योंकि ग्रुप फोर ए से ही हमारे सेमीकंडक्टर्स पिकअप होते हैं दैट इज वाई वी आर कंसिडरिंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ग्रुप फोर ए सो ग्रुप फोर ए मीन्स दैट ऑल दो एलिमेंट्स विच हैव फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन देयर आउटर मोशन करेक्ट दैट्स व्हाट यू मीन बाय ग्रुप फोर ए तो इफ यू सी दैट आई हैव टेकन फोर एलिमेंट्स हियर विच आर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप and these are the atomic numbers which you may be knowing of and you see that uh, how the electronic configuration of all of them are you know 1s square 2s square 2p square and whatever it is you have given all this entire electronic configuration which you know already 
But one common thing, if you see among all the elements, as I've already told, is that all of them have four electrons in their outermost orbit. All right. But despite having this similar feature, uh, we see that uh, this one carbon behaves like an insulator. All right. And both of this, they behave like semiconductor. And what you have here is tin. And tin behaves like a conductor. Okay, so though they have one common feature that all of them are having four electrons in their outermost orbit, as I'm marking here. Okay, phi s square, uh, phi p square, and all that. But still, one of them behaves like an insulator. One of them, two of them behave like semiconductors, and one of them behave like a conductor. Now, what is the reason for that? That is the main uh, discussion. What we will have to see in terms of the energy level diagram, we will be able to answer this question that why certain materials, they are not able to have large number of free electrons. Why some materials have large number of free electrons and some materials have intermediate number of free electrons. All right. So uh, here, if you see in silicon, okay. Which is the orbit? Ye aapka dekhoge, uh, third orbit aapka valence shell hai. Thik hai? Aur isme aap dekhoge, ye konsa orbit hai? Ye fourth hai na? Aapka valence jo hoga outermost shell. Thik hai? Aur ye dekhoge aap, ye second orbit hai. Ye jo me data de rao yaha pe, ye kafi important hai. Hum baad me, uh, we'll come to this particular part. Uh, why I wrote this second and third and fourth orbit, uh, we will come back to this part after some time. But just remember that carbon may drop ka valence shell hai, wo aapka second orbit hai, or uh, silicon may third hai, or germanium may fourth hai. All right. So this particular slide is clear. Shreya, what we are trying to write here. The summary of this slide is that all semiconductors are taken from the fourth element, uh, fourth group. And uh, I have raised this uh, point that despite of the fact that all these four elements are taken from the fourth group, some of them are behaving like insulators, some of them are behaving as semiconductors, and some of them are behaving like conductors. And another important point I have brought about here is, uh, which we'll use later, is that carbon may your outermost shell is second orbit here in silicon is the third orbit and in germanium is the fourth orbit all right so uh, in an isolated atom uh, we see uh, we had discussed uh, just recently in modern physics that all your energy levels are quantized isn't it you have discrete energy levels in an atom you cannot have any possible energy level. There are only certain discrete energy levels. Okay, so this is where this is in an individual atom. If you take an individual atom and then ask me that how the energy levels are distributed, then I will say that they are at discrete energy levels. All right. And these discrete energy levels, we know they can take some definite energy levels. Which you have studied in chemistry. Ye wala part to chemistry mein sikhte ho. 1s hota hai, 2s hota hai, 2p, 3s, then 3d, and so on. Whatever it is, 4s, and all those things. They are there. Okay. And Pauli's exclusion principle basically tells us uh, that what is the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in each energy level? Correct. Like uh, 1s mein aapka maximum number of electrons are uh, 2. 2s may 2 hai, 2p may 6 hai, 3d jo ab likhte ho to 10 electrons hai. So Pauli's exclusion principle aapko batata hai ki koi bhi energy level agar hai, to maximum number of electrons kitne ho sakte hai at the same energy level. Ye Pauli's exclusion principle batata hai. I just wanted to know Pauli's exclusion principle aap sikhte ho kya chemistry mein? Because ye wala part uh, we don't generally uh, discuss this in physics. So do you study Pauli's exclusion principle in chemistry? Okay, <coughs> good. <coughs> so, aap log ho. 
ओके सो उसका क्या स्टेटमेंट कैसा आप उसको देते हो वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द पॉलिज एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल एज यू टेल इट और इज देर एनी मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट I think uh, uh, they cannot have the same quantum numbers. ऐसा कुछ तो है ना आपका statement, something like that. I don't know if any of you all are able to recollect the Pauli's exclusion principle formula. But anyway, uh, since you have studied this, uh, this point is going to be very important for us for describing, uh, you know, why certain materials act like insulators. why certain materials act like conductors and all that and i'll be referring to this point once again later on but yahan pe main yaad dilao wapas ki pauli's exclusion principle ke hisab se koi bhi energy level mein maximum number of electrons kitne ho sakte hain which are at the same energy level ye pauli's exclusion principle batata hai okay bas itna hi abhi yaad rakhna hai dekho ये तो एटम्स के बारे में हो गया है डिस्क्रीट एटम्स के बारे में जब इंडिविजुअल एटम बहुत दूर दूर है लाइक वेपर फॉर्म में होता है तो एट दैट टाइम दिस इज फाइन तो नो टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन हैव ऑल द फोर क्वांटम नंबर्स करेक्ट या सो दैट इज बेसिकली द पॉलिज एक्सक्लूशन प्रिंसिपल बट आई हैव रिटर्न इट इन स्लाइटली डिफरेंट वे इट ट्राइज टू डिटर्मिन ऑल्सो इनडायरेक्टली द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच कैन बी अकोमोडेट इन ईच एनर्जी लेवल ठीक है तो हमारे लिए फिजिक्स uh, में ये जो स्टेटमेंट है ये हमारे लिए ज्यादा यू नो कनेक्शन लाइन में है दैट्स व्हाई रिटर्न दैट वन तो ऑफ कोर्स व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद एन एलिमेंट लाइक अ पीस ऑफ कार्बन और अ पीस ऑफ सिलिकॉन वी आर नॉट डीलिंग विद इंडिविजुअल एटम्स बट वी आर डीलिंग विद क्रिस्टल्स वेर एटम्स आर गोइंग टू कम क्लोज टू इच अदर एंड फॉर्म यू नो क्रिस्टल्स so we are interested to talk about what happens to uh, these energy levels do they remain intact as they are or will they change uh, you know when the atoms are brought together that is going to be our main uh, concept here to jab aap atoms ko pass pass mein leke aaoge crystal form karne ke liye to jo energy levels honge outermost shell ke they will start interacting with each other all right and from the pauli's exclusion principle that we just stated here that individual atom mein sabhi atoms ka okay agar 2s level loge 2s level to sabhi uh, electrons ka energy level same hoga magar agar atoms ko pass pass mein laya to outermost valence shell ke electrons interact karenge ek dusre ke sath and according to the pauli's exclusion principle now there has to be a diversification of the energy level your energy level for all the two as electrons and all the atoms cannot be same they have to spread out in energy and form an energy band so individual atoms we have discrete energy levels but when you bring the atoms close to each other and there is interaction of the uh, energy levels of the outermost shell because of pauli's exclusion principle there is a limitation of the maximum number of electrons which can be occupied in each energy level so 2s electron ke jo do electrons possible hai individual atom mein wo same energy level pe ho sakte hai but pass mein aaya then some of them will be higher energy level some of them go to a higher lower energy level and there will be spreading of the energy level and we'll draw a diagram to make that part more clear all right so what is the comment in the chat box So Pauli's exclusion principle says that no two electrons in the same atom can have identical value for all their quantum numbers. Yes, Omkar, fine. So, ये जो मैंने part बताया था before the session ends and we re-continue, uh, is it understood that why the energy has to spread out in the form of energy bands? Uh, is that acceptable, Mohit? Uh, that's the crux of the whole discussion, starting discussion. Okay, chalo. We'll just quickly re-log in back and then further take up the questions. Uh, those who have, yes, I'll explain it again with the help of diagrams. 